how to spot a monitoring spirit in somebody. What is a monitoring spirit? These are spirits that monitor you in the spirit realm or spirits that monitor you through other people to keep you from prospering to focus on what it is you're doing to try to stop you from prospering in life, to stop you to have some blessings to come through. Notice anytime you begin to tell your plans, it just never work out. Because what's happening is a lot of these people you're telling them to, they're monitoring spirits and they speak curses over you behind your back to prevent you from prospering in life. Our words hold power. So when people are gossiping about you, when people are doubting you, it's sending those things off into the spirit realm. And this is why it'd be so hard to get things done, to achieve things, for blessings to come in. Because we being loose-lipped, telling people we shouldn't even be telling stuff to. And they going behind our backs talking about us, doing whatever. And we wondering why we can't, why we can't, uh, you know, excel. And notice whenever you start to get more quiet, you start to get more stuff done. That's because those monitoring spirits don't really know what's going on. They can only guess. You know what I'm saying? So a couple of things you want to look for into somebody that's uh that could be a monitoring spirit. One, they will add, they will disguise bad advice as good advice. You have an idea, you know that this is a good idea, and you know it's gonna work. But they'll give you bad advice disguised as good advice. They'll say, "I see, I don't know about that because if that if you do that, this could probably happen." So what they trying to do is they know that that plan gonna work, but they trying to plan doubt in you. So you don't, you see what I'm saying? So you don't take on this idea and um, start to prosper. So that monitoring spirit start using them. You see what I'm saying? So that's what they'll do. They'll um, disguise bad advice as good advice. Second thing that they'll do, they hate when you prosper. Whenever you have good news, whenever you have any form of accomplishment going on in your life, they do not like to see it. They don't like to see it. I'm talking about, you can say, I just graduated. Or I just got a promotion at my job and they got something slick to say. You see what I'm saying? Or they got something, you know, they be like, they try to downplay it like, oh, well, you know, it's just a promotion. It's not like you own the company. You see what I'm saying? So you got to really pay close attention to who who you talking to and who you telling stuff and their reaction to what it is that's, you know, going on in your life. Number three, they love to see you down. Now, these people, man, they love to see you down, but they'll, they'll come to you as a, as a friend, somebody um, to comfort you. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you down, anytime you're going through something, they, they, they have this false empathy. Oh, it's okay, dog. Oh, it's okay, girl. It's going to be all right. But low key, they get a kick out of it. You know what I'm saying? They feed off of that because they like to see you down and they probably feel more validated when you're not prospering in life. You know what I'm saying? For whatever insecurity or whatever jealous issue that they have with you. So that's something you want to be real mindful of because a lot of people do this. Another thing, man. They got to know what you got going on in your life. They are nosy. They always asking questions. They asking questions and they nosy. And they, they don't even got your genuine interest. That is a, a monitoring spirit. Like, tell tell it on itself. It's clear as day. If somebody want to know what you got going on in your life, they always got to know. And they always asking questions. But they ain't got your genuine interest. Best believe they, they just trying to be nosy. So they can know what. So they look at they look at your life as entertainment. What they going to do is they just going to go behind your back, speak curses, gossip, do whatever the case may be. And that stuff going to start moving in the spirit. You see what I'm saying? And these people tend to get upset when you're not being transparent with them about what you got going on. So they feel offended when you withholding certain stuff. You see what I'm saying? So these people will feel entitled to information from you. They'll feel entitled, you know, to have certain parts of you or whatnot. That's, that's a, <laughs> man, that's a monitoring spirit. But those are the things you want to look for. So stop telling everybody your plans. Keep it between you, God, and the people that are genuinely for you. You see what I'm saying? But that's why y'all seeing that pattern to where it's hard for you to prosper because we being too loose that we talking too much. Keep it to yourself. Keep it between you and God. And when God, it's, go, it's going to reveal itself. You see what I'm saying? So you don't even got to much talk about it. But don't be giving the enemy ammunition due to us just being loose-lipped, thinking we can trust these people. So watch out for people. Look at their reactions. How do they, um, how they reacting to the good things that's going on in your life? And, you know, what it is that's feeding them. Because a lot of people, they just y'all friend because they like to see you down and provide this fake comfort so they can feel better about themselves. So they can feel like they in some type of superiority position. You know what I'm saying? But I know this video helps somebody. Make sure y'all take notes and high beams on, man. And, man, slow to speak. <laughs> Quick to listen, slow to speak.